Um, Sanbona Nonke, my name is Kamalam Bongan Mapanga. Michael, yeah. Um, that's where I am. I grew up um, in Haman Skral, Pretoria, in a rural area called Eastern Vatel. Um, yeah, as I said, those are my names. Bongan Michael Mapanga. Um, how did I grow? I grew up, um, I grew up. In a, in a well family, both parents, mom and dad, uh, and siblings of five. I'm the third one. It's brother, sister, me, then two younger brothers. <coughs> yeah, um, I grew up in a family that's in these people who are, you know, these religious people. Let's see. Then thugs was. Or is a, a, a pastor, yeah, some sort of. So growing up was really difficult because I had to, you know, live two lives. Two lives, two lives how? Two lives of wood man, It's, you know, it's religious stuff. And then when I'm out there, you know, I get to live with my friends and we did what normal people do. <laughs> And I belong to the group that I belong to. It was a very naughty, a naughty one. You know. <laughs> yeah, we did all, like everything that's there, everything that boys do, whatever you can think of. You know, like everything. And then yeah, we went to the same high school. We used to get the ladies to you know more ever, you know rebellious to teachers doing you know Fridays like school work yeah and then at school I think we're known as the boys who uh, <coughs> I don't know how to describe it but it was yes oh yeah yeah but yeah life happened <coughs> so I'm going to grade 10 or 9 well, nine, I was, you know, still the naughtiest boy ever. And then ten, we went together, and then we started like splitting classes. No, grade ten, I think. Oh, grade nine, that we split the classes, and then grade ten, it was, you know, normal. We went together again. <laughs> I remember it was twelve C, twelve E, yeah, twelve E. That was a, that was the only class in my kind of school that was chased out. Be like you told us what you should get a new high school where you're gonna do a grade 11 imagine <coughs> so um even a good time like we you know didn't do work i used to fail a lot i used to fail i used to even mathematics i remember this is subject um mathematics i didn't study like i just went wide that kind of stuff and, and then I, I did tourism yeah and then what happened in grade 9 me choosing the stream is actually <laughs> very it was my only choice good to know man. I'm taking the stream this is in say 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 like general tourism mathematics math lead mathematical literacy yeah so really there was no way because Either way, I wouldn't qualify because in the time in grade 9 it was, you know, yeah, so I don't even know how I passed. I don't know how I passed. And then, at school, I didn't partake in any of the activities, research, none. <coughs> and then, yeah, like, I didn't see there was no future. Like, there was no, I wasn't orientated, I wasn't. You know, yeah, so that was my, my high school, you know. Yeah, it was, that's how it is. In my transition to school or to a higher institution, as I said, Uti, like, I started focusing during the trick. Yeah, that's what happened. And then my transition to high school, I mean, I'm not the type of person who, like, I went straight to school, you know, from. We talk to to the to 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 the university. Okay, 
so what happened with you? My brother was was already go to an university of te- technology, which is CT. So during my grade eleven, he applied in Yana for me. I was interested because you know I wanted like to to learn the new things. Even my parents, as I said, as I, as I told you, Uti, they they were you know they were so strict, so I had to go to school. You know, and then luckily. I was, you know, my marks, as I said, I started pulling up, my marks in grade 12. I managed to, well, I didn't manage to get into varsity. I worked, yeah, that's what I can say, because, um, you know, I wasn't accepted, because I competed 2016, 2016, and then 2017, I thought I was going to go straight to varsity. And you know, that's not how it works, you know, there has to be work. And even though I applied, but you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't accepted. You know, that's when, like, I went through the most, hey, like, I was, I was stressing, I was praying each day, like, I was asking God, God help, because I've changed my life, you know, like, everything of mine, I worked to get where I am, because even my statement for me, it was good, you know, like, you know. I didn't have, okay, even though my, my, my streams were, you know, it was a general, but like, I, I like, I, I'm, I know who to when I want my, I want my bite off. Ah. So, I wouldn't say I chose to get to the institution, like TT. it was a matter of, it was the only, oh, I also applied for UJ, Mark, UJ, I, I doubt they, no, they, they didn't take me because I applied for law, so they didn't take me for TT. So I went to Kuhu Juji, sorry. Yeah, so I went to TUT. Yeah, and then started off with IT, information technology, because it was the only space that was left. So I took IT and then I went through with it. <laughs> I was, you know, IT was because I was doing math there. So I, I, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I did what you call um I did what you call it's 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 readmission during the course of the because I was already having a must I I I knew people from the institution how to get what to do and then I ended up taking bachelors of education which is yeah but the banning they know it as teaching yeah it's bachelor of education. Yeah, my field is it's, it's, it's a teaching. People most call it teaching. Yeah, and I I think I'm enjoying it because you know <laughs> I don't know when you deal with kids and if they you teach and then I love talking, I love explaining to a person, I love you know I actually love imparting knowledge. Yeah. So and teaching is all about imparting knowledge. You see. The difficult part of my cause is that, or my career, it's, I don't know, man. it's so, it's dealing with kids, because kids, they are so, oh my god, yeah, so, I'm doing, um, it's, 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 um, it's, yeah, so B, D, F, B D, what is it? O B D G E T for intimidated phase from grade four up until grade nine. So I really enjoy my course to be honest. Like I really enjoy it. I really enjoy dealing with kids. I really enjoy you know teaching people, teaching people knowledge. I really enjoy imparting knowledge to people, especially people who will listen to you as they are role model. Yeah. And then I think misconception misconception people have in your concern is that they think it's I don't know they think it's maybe simple or it's I don't know it's an easy way of you know being successful which is not because like you really need to get good marks good academic good grades in metric in order for you to qualify to actually study BED you see. Ah, yeah, and like the institution that I'm in, it offers, it's one of the varsities that offers, you know, best BD degrees. <laughs> I don't know that's according to much research. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's my fun, my cause. I really enjoy it. Like to be honest, I really, really, really enjoy it. And that actually, I should advising a person to study. There, it. <laughs> I would advise them, but this thing is TT because it's TT social movement. So, ah, man. Ah, ha. <laughs> yeah, because there, you know, I wasn't in the ball. Fun in high school, I wasn't involved in any extra new activities. Time, mate, it's all about you know, it's always a nice time, you're always having a nice time. So, actually, my life hasn't changed that much, but instead, I learned responsibilities, you know. I just knew how to do what to do, at the, like, I knew what not to do and what to do, you know, I knew which what. At a certain time, what is it that I should do? I should be doing. For an example, if maybe my friends are going out, I know what's no more. This is what I need to do, or maybe study for a test or an assignment. I need to, I need to submit, like it or not, because it's my damn future. So yeah, the simple one, it's the simple one, but this one is ma- it's mature, it's the mature one, and it's the one that takes you know, responsibility. Yeah, because there you manage your time. You manage your time the way you want it. Well, all of us, it is, I mean. Yeah, and then I think uh, my failures or regrets, uh, I regret. Uh, I don't think I have any regrets because if I'd say I have regrets of not studying, of not studying sciences. You know, high school. Who knows? Maybe I would have been failing. Cause man, like my course currently, I'm um, you know I'm excelling. You understand? So <laughs> yeah, I'm excelling. So I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say if I uh, studied more in high school, maybe I would be in the like, nice course, or maybe I'd be something better. This I'm better. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I've learned a lot, like, I've learned a lot, I've learned to take responsibility, I've learned, since my I'm, like, I'm in the process of, I'm in the process of com- completing my things. Yeah, and, yeah, that's what I've learned, man, and I also acquired, like, I got very important people in my life, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I learned how to, 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 to distinguish between friends and, friends and, I wouldn't say enemies or family. Friends and ah man. No, <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah, and then Yeah, I think that's for my varsity life. Yeah. Okay, yeah, as we conclude, as a, le- a legend I am, my advice I'd give to the youth of South Africa is that you know in life you just need to just i think you need to have first of all you need to have a role model you need to have a person that will that cares for you because out here there's a lot of people who are so misleading they act to be they they pretend to be your advisors they pretend to be people who care for you but they actually you know they are they're out here to destroy the future you know what I mean? so first step into like conquering the world is have a person that is, that's gonna advise you to do better a person that has been there you know a person that you also trust and you can confide into me unfortunately i didn't have a person i can say that's my role okay maybe not a role model a person who who showed me who taught me who to know this is this is what you do if like mutual like relationships or maybe going out career wise i'm the one who learned my way you know i saw some people i learned through the way from people i also made my own mistakes but i wouldn't i want to be something better to a person that i couldn't have i want to be what i wished i had you understand because had i had a person like me i'd be better i know if you get what i'm saying yeah, so to the world out there and future is that get a person and then just get a person who's 
who can be your learning curve and then from there if you already know what you want tell the person they'll obviously tell you which steps to take and then no matter what believe that you can control it and then don't put don't have guys stress with no i need to finish this i need to i need to what i need to what just relax take a chill pill as you always say man yeah just take a chill pill and then let everything flow but you need to put in the grind there's nothing for mahala out here there's nothing for mahala you need to sacrifice your time and then also have have like multiples incomes yeah have multiple incomes yeah that's what i'm doing and that's why i want to that's my plan that's my goal that's you know i want yeah and then my last words i wouldn't say it's last year i've been talking a lot of sense i just life is good but not bad at the same time so it's 50 50. I think the only person responsible for happiness is you. Nothing but you. Because people, they're going to destroy you. People are going to... Don't let people determine how you feel. People, 90% of the time, they're the ones who are responsible of making you how you feel. They're responsible. They're the ones who put things in your head. But if we're not, and this is a very powerful, this is a very difficult thing to do, if you let people get into your head, no man and that's what I have even me i'm still struggling with it if a person comes to me and then tells me tells me this and that maybe i'm a failure at such and this this thing's gonna hurt me forever but i made a promise to myself which nobody's gonna let me down you know i might be depressed at that time particular time but in a minute or two i'll be oh those, those that person particular person and i'll be you know having my own thoughts and as much as maybe i can be wrong i might be quirky it's fine that's how it is man that's how it is i think those are just you know my last words i thank you this was an interview for um academy coordinate um the director or the ceo i don't know it's cosmetic that